Hi, second graders. All right. So today for math, I'm going to give you what you're going to be doing, and then you're going to go off on your own and complete it. So we have been talking about shapes, and we've been talking about quadrilaterals and not quadrilaterals, or really quadrilaterals and then any other shape. So if you remember, a quadrilateral has four sides. A quadrilateral is like the big umbrella term for any shape that has four sides. So if you think of an umbrella, what's underneath the umbrella for a quadrilateral would be square, rectangle, rhombus, trapezoid, any shape that has four sides. So in the packet that you picked up or in the Ziploc bag that you picked up, you should have found a yellow sheet of paper. And then you should have also found three pages that are stapled together that look like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to do a shape sort today. So before you start on your yellow piece of paper, I want you to write a few things. So watch me. I have a marker and at the top, I'm going to draw a small line. So remember, just watch me first. Draw a line across the top, like this. So notice it's pretty close to the top. There's it's about an inch, okay? And then there's a lot of space below it. Then I'm going to draw a long line that separates or cuts my paper in half longwise. So here we go. One minute. All right, so your paper should look like this. Okay. Now at the top, we're going to write quad. We're just gonna make the word quadrilateral, since it's such a big word, shorter. So quad, Q, U, A, D. And quad means four. So I have quad written on this side. And then on this side, I'm gonna write not quad, not quad, not quad. All right, so now my chart is all ready for the activity. Here's what it looks like. I have drawn my line across the top, all the way down the middle, and then I've written quad, not quad. Now what I want you to do, you're gonna need a glue stick and crayons and scissors. Glue stick, crayon, scissors. There's all sorts of shapes. These are actually the shapes that were on our calendar for December, so they probably look familiar to you. And before you do any cutting, I would take some crayons and I would color the inside of all your shapes pretty colors so that it looks nice. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm just showing you what I want you to do, but that would be a great thing for you to do to make this activity just a little bit more fun. So once you've colored it, you're going to cut all the shapes out. There are 15, I believe, yes, there are 15 shapes that you are going to cut out you're gonna cut on the dotted line. So I'm just gonna do two for you to see. I'm gonna cut on the dotted line all the way around. So right now I'm cutting the square that says one and the square that says two out. But you'll cut out all 15. Okay, so on my first one, see how it says one in the bottom? And it's also labeled. So this is these are what all your pieces are gonna look like. You'll still have the number on the bottom, you'll have the shape, and then you'll have the name of the shape at the top. So this says isosceles triangle. And remember, an isosceles triangle has two sides that are the same length and one longer side. And an isosceles triangle has two lines right here that come together that look like an L, and that special angle is called a right angle, and that angle is 90 degrees. So sometimes people also call this kind of triangle a right triangle. 
But I'm noticing that this shape, an isosceles triangle, has three sides. One, two, three. Three vertices. One, two, three. And three angles. One, two, three. So if I know that a quadrilateral has four sides, is an isosceles triangle a quad or a not quad? It's a not quad. So on your sheet, you are going to glue it. I forgot my glue. But you're going to glue it on the not quad side. Then here's my shape number two. Again, there's the number at the bottom, there's the shape, and then the name of the shape at the top. Now I notice on this shape that there are four sides. One, two, three, four. I notice that this side and this side are the same length, and this side and this side are the same length. There's two short sides and two long sides. I also notice there are four vertices and four angles, and all four of those angles look like the angle that was here. Do you remember what that angle was called? A right angle. So a rectangle has four right angles. Now remember, a quadrilateral has four sides. So knowing that, is a rectangle a quad or a not quad? It's a not quad. So you will, no, it's a quad. Did I say not quad? Mrs. Bean, it's a quad, it's a quadrilateral. So your graph will look like this. So far I have an isosceles triangle on my not quadrilateral side and a rectangle on my quadrilateral side because it has four sides. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to work your way through all 15 of the shapes and if the shape is not a quadrilateral, you will glue it to the side of your paper that says not quad. And if it is a quadrilateral, it has four sides, you will glue it under the side that says quad. All right, and then this will be a great resource for you to keep somewhere, um, I was gonna say special, but it doesn't need to be in a special spot. It just needs to be kept in your school area so that you can refer to it and figure out what are quadrilaterals and what are not quadrilaterals. All right, have fun.